Hello, my name is Robert French and I'm an Applications Engineer with GoEngineer. Today we're going to take a look at the GrabCAD print software, which can control a majority of your Stratasys 3D printers. We're going to go over interface basics so we better understand how to use the software. As always with any software, we have our menu items up above with File, Edit, View, Apps, and Help. Within that, most important sections I would say are the Preferences area where we can turn on and off and set some default settings to make the ease of use of software that much better. We have our app section which gives us control to the Insight software. Now this is kind of in the background doing some more advanced toolpath control of our 3D printer and we have several other videos online that go over that in more detail. Lastly we have the help section which is a great resource for tutorials, sending feedback about the software and really just staying in touch with software updates and other things Stratasys is doing to help develop the GradCAD print software. In the top left of the software we have the navigation panel. This houses the print view, schedule, and history buttons. Print view shows us a current build of the tray as we currently see and allows us to build out that new tray adding parts and setting up for a new print. Schedule shows us prints that are scheduled to go on the machine. Now with multiple people at a company wanting access to the 3D printer, the schedule help will help us optimize and place these prints in a particular order based on our different needs and priorities. Finally, history shows us the comprehensive list of past jobs that have already been printed. In the bottom left of the software, we see two icons. One is a login profile, helps keep us networked and all linked onto a particular system. We can see my picture down there. And just above that, we see a little gift box. This is news, updates, different things you'll see from Stratasys about the GrabCAD print software and what's going on with it in the greater world. This section of the software is called the project panel. One of the most obvious buttons here is the add models button. We can go and find pretty much any 3D file format. GrabCAD is very versatile in being able to open up from a bunch of native sources as well as CAD agnostic sources. And I've gone ahead and imported an IGES file here. Now I could add multiple models to this build tray, but for now we have the FDM basics part, which has a red exclamation point to the right of it. This indicates that the model might have an issue with it, but GrabCAD can take care of some of these model issues. In the top right, these three icons, model view, model errors, and slice preview can help us analyze the model to optimize our print. I'm simply going to click the model errors button and GrabCAD will do its best and is often very successful almost all the time in rectifying this model and making it valid for a 3D print. After fixing the model errors with our particular file, we can go ahead and start to rearrange and build out our tray. Now using these icons on the right, some of our most popular tools here are the units, which in some cases don't matter. When we're pulling in a native file, say from SolidWorks, the file already has its units associated with it. But if we were pulling in an STL file, for instance, we're going to have to indicate what units go along with that STL file. Below that we have tray settings. This controls the overall settings of our tray and uh, kind of linked to our machine. We have model settings. Once we put multiple models onto this tray, we can kind of control the individual settings for the different models. Further down, we have arrange, orient, and scale, some of the most popular uh, items here. And we actually used orient here to flip this part down into a more preferable print orientation. Now there's a couple other icons in here that are a little bit more advanced, but for now we're just going to focus on the basics. A moment ago I mentioned tray settings. Now what we find inside of that menu is going to be very dependent upon what type of printer we have selected. There's a big difference between the FDM and PolyJet technology, for example, so what type of machine we have selected is going to give us some very different options inside of that menu. In the bottom right, we can actually go ahead and select our printer. If we use the pop-up menu, we'll find a huge list of different templates for the various machines supported by the GrabCAD print software. Now, we can choose from these templates, but we're doing ourselves a disservice by using this method. We have to make sure that the template we set up matches all the settings that we have 
over on our actual machine. What we can do is use an IP address, and if we have our printer and computer on the same local area network, we connect to it remotely. Now all of this various information about tip sizes, material loaded, how much material is left, that's all automatically gathered for us and brought right here into GrabCAD Print. There's also, on some machines, a live camera of the build tray that can help you double check on your print and make sure everything's going smoothly. After confirming that our settings are correct for the print we want to send to the machine, we can lastly use the View Estimates button and make sure that we actually have enough material and support loaded and get a rough time estimate of how long the print's going to take. Now, there's plenty more to go over in the GrabCAD print software, but the goal of this video was to give a comprehensive overview at the surface level of all the different tools and capabilities available to a GrabCAD print user. We'll make more videos soon to go more in depth on various topics. Thanks for watching.